Hey everybody, Keith K here with a Green Hell tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the campfire, the small uh, fire I should say. So today we're going to take a look at how to build the small fire um, and then how to cook on it and uh, refuel it. If you enjoy these tutorials, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps and uh, give the video a like. Now, as you can see, uh, it's raining. It rains a lot here. And one of the things you're gonna wanna do actually is make a little uh, covering or shelter for your fire area <clears throat> before you start with um, building fires. So we'll actually start there. <clears throat> um, let's see now, if you press the C key and go to your notebook, this is where all of your templates, if you will, are. Um, so I usually like to start with a frame. We're going to need four logs, four long sticks, and four ropes. And uh, hopefully you've already played the game enough to know uh, how to do that and how to build an axe. Um, if you don't, again, go to your notebook. And uh, some of your early tools are here. And you'll see the stone axe and then the axe. And you can use those to chop down several of the various trees and you're going to look to get logs and long sticks. So I've got those prepared since that's not the point of this tutorial. But I did want to show you how to build this little shelter for the fire before we get too far along. So you're just gathering these up pointing at the template essentially and filling them in. You'll see E to insert. It's always the same prompt. Um, now that's a start, but the water's still coming through. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is if we go back here to our structures, depending on what you have the most around you, you're gonna either wanna do a palm roof or a banana roof, and we'll need 16 of those. And you can see it'll snap in. Uh, and I will come back once I've got that just about finished. Since it does take 16, it's going to take a few minutes just to gather everything. All right, and we're back, and I have just about finished this. You can see I've got one palm leaf left to insert. And now the ground may still get wet, but what you'll see is that the fire won't get put out by rain because that will happen from time to time to time if it's raining hard your fire will just go out so in order to build the fire again we're going to go to our notebook go to your fire tab choose small fire and we're just going to place it here and then you can see as you approach it it's looking for six small sticks and once you insert all the small sticks it's basically your tinder I guess uh, you'll see we need eight regular sticks and then you can just insert each of those and now you'll see um, we've got two circles here and it says ember required so to get our ember started you're gonna open up your inventory go to your fire tab and you'll need a hand drill if you haven't already built a hand drill that again is one of the things that um, comes with your notebook right away. You just need a stick and a small stick together. Um, so you can craft those over here on your crafting menu. You just grab a stick and a small stick and then you can craft your hand drill. We've got that already so I'm not going to do it right now. So you are going to just right click. You'll see it says expand right mouse button. You're going to right click here and use so then you'll take a seat and get ready to use your uh, hand drill. You've got to open your inventory up again and either drag over some fiber or a bird's nest, which you can find, um, you know, out in some of the trees. So we're going to drag that over and you'll just get started right away. Once you have the ember going, you can't take too long as it'll go out. You're going to point and say, or press E, I should say. Now you've got three circles and you can see the fire. That's basically your fuel gauge. Right now it's full, but as we proceed, you'll see that um, it'll go down. So there's two spots to cook here. And if you open up your inventory, 
Uh, let's see. You can collect snails. This says mystery snail. You can find these on various rocks by the riverside. So we're just going to grab this and put it on one of the circles. And you can see it begins to cook when it makes its way all the way around. It will be cooked. Uh, I've also got a cane toad, which you can hunt these with a spear. Uh, you can also make a large rock uh, trap, I believe it's called. Let's take a look in the notebook here down under traps. Sorry, stone traps. So you need a big stone, a rope, and three small sticks. Uh, once you've ca caught one of these or trapped one of these, it'll be here in um, your inventory. And what you'll want to do is harvest it. So you're going to essentially skin it. And then the meat goes into a separate space in your backpack. Um, and then you need to be looking down and open it, grab the raw. You see I've got some dried ones here. You're just going to dra drag the raw over and snap it into place. Now basically we're going to wait. Now you can go about, do other things, um, you know, gather more resources while you're waiting. And come back to it. Alright, now this is cooked. You can see that it says cooked. If you leave it on here longer, if you run away or you're, you're doing other things and um, you don't get to it, eventually it will burn. And while you'll still get some uh, value out of it, you won't get the full value. So right now you can see this will give us three protein, one energy, and five sanity. So I need a little bit of energy. I'm going to go ahead and eat that. And I'll eat a few other things. Let me see how I'm doing. Mainly, I just want to get my energy up. Yeah, I can use some carbs anyways. So we'll go ahead and eat these. Eat some of these. Um, all right, and now the cane toad meat is cooked also. I'm going to eat that because it doesn't keep as long as the dried food. You can see this dried food's going to last about three days. Uh, and the last thing I want to show you here is you can see the fuel gauge is starting to go down, meaning you know it's burning up its full fuel, and you know there's no prompt that comes up to show you how to you know you've got a stick, you don't you don't want the fire to go out, especially early in the game, or if you don't have like tobacco plant leaves and make grape fiber, um, or you're waiting for birds nests to respawn. Sometimes it's just worthwhile to just keep it going. There's so much uh, sticks and litter, you know, small sticks just on the ground. But what you want to do is go into your inventory, go to this rope tab, and then you can drag your stick right over until the circle turns green and you'll see the fuel gauge go up. Same thing with small sticks, you can just do that. And uh, you can keep your fire going, you can keep cooking uh, different meats like the egg uh, is good to cook. That's a good one to cook. It cooks fairly quick. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is once the fire is completely out, we'll come back and take a look at what's left over. While we're waiting for that, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're interested in seeing what else uh, I've got out here, uh, I would appreciate uh, you subscribing. I'll be right back for the last little bit. All right, and here we have uh, what remains of our small fire once you let it burn all the way out. So there's campfire ash, which you're going to want to take. You can use that to mix with mud to make mud bricks. And charcoal, we'll have a couple of pieces of charcoal here. Now the charcoal, um, you can craft it, uh, sorry, harvest it, and that will give us more campfire ash. Uh, you also can eat it, and it essentially has a, an effect of minus one food poisoning. So if you get food poisoning of one or two or three, you just eat one or two or three charcoal to eliminate that food poisoning. And that pretty much does it for the small fire. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this video, and it'll help you get uh, through this game a little further. And we'll see you back here soon. Thanks a lot, everybody.